Yo, wretched. Wretched Lazarus. You know what? Hey, what's up, Fortune? Winky Potamus, what's up, buddy? Alright, and wretched. Dude, I'm trying not to, man. I'm trying to stream more in the evenings too, but right now I just kind of stream when when I'm able to stream. We're bringing back the wheel. Because wheel on the screen is boring. Wheel in person. Firefighter story. Ooh, actually, I've got one for this. Uh, I've got an educational moment for all of us. So, anybody in here that's part of the Smash Bros scene... So at Genesis 7, and for those who don't know what that is, uh, Case, that was the Smash Bros. tournament I took off work to go to in California. It is uh, the largest or one of the largest grassroots Smash Bros. tournaments in the... What the hell are you? And Saturday night while at the tournament, uh, everybody got woken up around like 5, 5.30 in the morning. But anyways, to, while we're there at the tournament, the fire alarm goes off at 5.30 in the morning. And we need to evacuate. My brother starts immediately packing his suitcase to try and take it all. And I had to yell at him, no, don't do that. Don't be dumb. Because we need to just go. And when I go out in the hallway, it's a lot of the same thing. People are packing up their stuff. And when we get into the stairwell, the stairwell is packed with more or less the same thing. Again, just a bunch of people trying to bring all their earthly belongings with them from the hotel instead of evacuate this is not a good thing and and here's why so while in the stairwell we didn't move the stairwell was packed and nobody was budging because it bottlenecked so bad now fortunately it ended up being just like a uh a fire alarm was pulled or somebody smoked right next to a sensor. One or the other, but not a true emergency. If this was a true emergency, let's say the building was on fire. A lot of people could have died because it bottlenecks so bad in the stairwell all as it is. But everybody bringing their belongings made it worse. It cluttered it more. And let's say those people decided halfway down the stairwell, screw this, I don't want to bring my bags, it's slowing me down, and they drop it. That could slow down everybody who's behind them. That's dangerous. So it became an argument of myself and others trying to pretty much yell at people, leave your stuff, it's not important, we need to just get out of here. Uh, and funny enough, when we made it out, come to find out like some people who did bring one item, one kid grabbed his GameCube, but didn't even bring his shoes. His one item he wanted to bring was a GameCube. It's like, you know what? Credit to you, friendo. I don't think I would have done that, but who am I so, to judge you? There's a good firefighter story for you is not so much directly being in a firefighting situation, but having to let people know that no matter how important your shirts and shoes and everything you brought to the hotel are, it's not worth more than your life and the life of other people who you are hindering. Something I guess kind of similar happened recently when there was that plane fire that, Ugh. we'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, that plane fire, people were grabbing their suitcases and luggage, not realizing that by doing so, uh, they can, again, slow people down in the aisles, needing to get off of a burning plane. It's already cramped as is in there. Uh, if you're going down the little slides to get off the plane, 
that can, uh, like your luggage can rip the slide and make it so others can't evacuate. No matter how much you love your stuff, leave it behind. Grab your wallet, grab your purse that has your ID, stuff that isn't cumbersome and isn't gonna slow you or others down. But yeah, so once again, thank you for the gift subs and thank you for the Twitch Prime. If you guys have any actual questions related to firefighting, I am more than happy to answer to the best of my ability. And then Case will laugh at me because he knows way more than me.